In this tutorial I'm going to be setting up a couple of DNS servers, one being the master, the other one being secondary to the master for two zones, a forward and reverse zone for the domain that I own. And I'm going to create the master on the SLES 11 server, so let's go ahead and launch the DNS server utility via YAST. Um, so type DNS, click on that, or you could also type YAST to DNS-server. Now if you want to know what other options there are, type YAST to tab tab and you can see the various options to manually launch these uh, different services with, found within YAST. And uh, I'm going to type DNS-server. And it'll launch the exact same dialog box. Now, I'm used to working in the expert configuration, so I'm going to click Next a couple of times and click on the DNS expert configuration. Um, once you've stepped through the uh, initial configuration one time and go back into this same utility, it will be in the expert configuration mode. So um, what I'm going to do is just do that to both boxes and go ahead and set up my DNS. Now I'm going to say start my DNS when booting. My forwarders, uh, this first one is incorrect. I mistyped something when I was setting up my original uh, IP configuration for the net. net the net cards and basic options I don't have anything that I'm going to change in, the, in these next four sections I'm going to go ahead and go to the DNS zones and I'm going to create two zones first zone I'm going to create is called I uh, let me make sure that my cursor is high over my VMware image here otherwise it's losing focus I like SUSE.com it's going to be a type master zone and then I'm going to, going to also create and in adder ARPA, I had to type this out so I get the right address, 34.70.166 in addrarpa I'm not trying to cover how, why, in what situations you're going to create an in adder ARPA this way or that way. This is just what I need and that's what I'm going to show. Um, so I'm going to edit both of these zones. First one, let's go create the forward records. Um, basic tab you can select these if you want dynamic DNS will be covered under a different tutorial NS records are going to be my authoritative name servers they are going to be SLES 11 dot I like I like SUSE .com, and also a SLES 10 dot I like SUSE .com. I'm not setting up any mail records at this point so I'm gonna just leave that alone SOA I'm going to leave alone that's I like the default typically. Um, now records, I'm going to create, I need SLES 10 to resolve to this address. So I'm going to add that. I need SLES 11 to add to, to resolve to this address. And then I have a Windows 7 client, Win7. Let's have that resolve to its address. Now this is a public zone. I do I may create an internal zone that routes to the internal addresses. Um, for what I'm doing, and for these purposes, this is going to be fine. I'm not setting up a web server, so I don't need to create a www record. If I did, um, you know, I could always add it here. But for now, this is everything I'm going to need. So I'm just going to click OK. You can go and come in here with these utility, create name servers, MX records, um, you know, server records, text, whatever. But that's not covered here. So say OK to that. So now I'm going to edit my in adder ARPA zone. And I'm going to leave things that pretty much the same. SLES 10. Dot. This, these again name servers being my authoritative servers for these zones. I like SUSE.com. 11. Add for the records. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create three reverse records. So the first one, let's go ahead and create my Windows 7 one. It's 172 is going to point towards win7.i like susa.com. Add that. 171 is going to point towards SLES 11. It's freezing on me. I'm clicking on this and it's not working, so give it just a second. There we go. Don't have the uh, greatest server um, 
serving up these uh, three boxes at this time. It's okay, but it's the resources are a little tied up right now. So SLES 10 is going to point to 170.alexusa.com. So add that. We'll let it think for a second. And we'll say OK. And to test these out, I, I'm not going to use some of the newer utilities like DIG or whatever else is being used at this time. I'm used to using NS Lookup still, so that's what I'm going to use to do a quick test on this. My server that I'm pointed to is not the one I wanted to be pointed to at this point, so let's go ahead and do a server space point to itself because that's the only place I have the DNS set up on. Now if I type server, you can see that's the one that's we're going to be sending a query to. Um, and let's go ahead and type SLES11. And because I have a search domain already set up of ilikesusa.com, I don't have to type out the full quali fully qualified name. SLES10 should resolve, and Win7 should resolve. Now I should be able to do set type equals PTR and look up 166.70.34.172, which should point to my forward, which it does. And we'll test the other two. And 160.70.34.170. So you can see that my forward and reverse zones are working correctly. All right, so now we're going to go over to our SLES 10 box, and the forwarders make sure the I don't, yeah, let's go ahead and add a couple. Actually, that's not going to be a forwarding server, so let's go ahead and just point to my ISP. 6.22.2 and 22. And basic options, all this other stuff I don't care about. Let's go ahead and create a zone called I like. Let me make sure my focus isn't lost when my mouse moves. I like. SUSA.com and this is time it's going to be a type of slave we're going to add that now it wants to know who the master IP address is for that zone so we'll point to the SLES 11 box and say OK and let's go down to DNS zones and we're going to create the inad ARPA 34.70.166.in-addr.arpa which is going to be a slave zone to the same server. Say OK to that and finish. Now on the SLES 11 box, I go if I were going to var lib name D, you'll notice that I have a couple of directories in here, one being called master, one being called slave. If I list slave, there shouldn't be anything in there, which there isn't. If I list master, I have a couple of zones in there. And if I cat I like SUSE, for instance, you'll see that uh, the contents of that file RC name D status on the SLES 10 box shows that it is running. So if I were to go to var lib name D, I have the same directory structure. If I ls master, I have nothing because I made slave zones over here. So if I go into slave directory and list that, I can see my two zones, which have been pulled down already. And if I cat that file, I get the same contents. I'm catting the in ARPA and I can't remember what it starts with. There we go. So that is a very basic setup um, where uh, I've created a master with two zones, a forward and a reverse zone, and then I've gone to a secondary server and done the same thing and basically you create the zones but point to the master. Everything else is handled in the background for you after you restart the daemons and my DNS is up and running on these two servers. Thanks for watching.